Joining me now, Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. Senator, uh, today uh, the U.S. Secret Service uh, and other officials came out and said that the methodologies that were put in place on Sunday were effective. The shooter did not get the president in his line of sight. He was chased off and he was apprehended. And your response? Well, I don't know how you can say it's effective when the shooter was able to be there on that golf course for 12 hours, Laura. I mean, this is a course that the president plays on a regular basis, by the way. This isn't like it's some new place that he parachuted into. He lives right next door. And the shooter's there for 12 hours and nobody notices? I mean, what, what really is going on here? It is of a pattern that we saw dating back to the Butler rally when that shooter was allowed to get on that rooftop and there was supposed to be law enforcement there and they weren't and there was supposed to be law enforcement on that perimeter and they weren't. So we have a problem here, to say the least. And I think it's time for Secret Service to tell us what is going on, why all of these failings and what are they going to do about it? Well, we hear they have the resources. President Biden had a cordial conversation uh, with President Trump. I actually think it's really good that he reached out. I think he should bring President Trump in and they really should do a joint appearance to reassure the country uh, because people are uh, this happens again. And I don't again, I said it in the angle. I don't think Humpty Dumpty gets put back together again. I think you're going to just shatter whatever's left of the trust that the people have in the FBI and in the Secret Service. But, Senator, I think it's important for us to remember that the Butler rally questions that this whistleblower and this whistleblower report that just came out uh, raised, those are still outstanding. And some of what you've discovered uh, and brought to light in this whistleblower report is just devastating about why that roof was not um, secured before the president went out to speak. The facts are devastating, Laura, and there are no answers to them. This is the problem. The Secret Service at this remove of two months has still not answered the most basic questions. Why wasn't the roof secured? We know that the site plan called for there to be a security perimeter around that building. There wasn't one. It called for there to be law enforcement on top of the roof. They weren't there. Just like this guy at the perimeter of the golf course for 12 hours. Why didn't Secret Service sweep it beforehand? Did they not have surveillance around the perimeter? It's the same series of questions now repeating itself over again. We still haven't gotten answers from the first time around. And for them now, Secret Service, to be declaring victory, excuse me, but you haven't told us anything about what happened two months ago. They are slow walking at best, Laura, at best, slow walking, if not stonewalling Congress's request for facts, for documents. They owe the American people an accounting of what happened in July, just like they owe them an accounting of what happened over the weekend. Well, we don't know whose job it was, right? What, there must have been one or two individuals whose job it was to secure that roof. And in this whistleblower report, we discover that the issue of the oppressive heat, the temperature in the summer, was a factor in not getting the, the, the roof uh, actually monitored and, and secured? Is that right? It's... It's absolutely ridiculous. That is indeed what whistleblowers tell me, Laura. What they say is, is that the plan, the security plan, called for there to be law enforcement on the roof and law enforcement around the building at Butler. There were neither. There was nobody on the roof except for the shooter, and there was nobody around the, the perimeter of the building. And yes, the, the excuse was, well, it was awfully hot that day. Well, I mean, so because of that, the former president shot in the face and a good man is dead? I mean, that's the answer? That, come on, where are the answers here? Why were there not law enforcement there? Why weren't they putting their best people on this detail? We also know from whistleblowers that the lead site agent is someone who was not trusted by other Secret Service agents, who was not highly regarded in the service, and who didn't know what she was doing. Why are these people running security for a former president and a current major party nominee? It's, it's all inexplicable, and the longer we go without real answers, Laura, the worse it gets. Well, and if 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 DEI is part of what is factoring in here, or is it diversity, you know, check boxes that you got, then that's a real problem. And I think the less we know, the more we can assume the facts are bad for the FBI and the Secret Service. Senator, thank you so much.